Yo, 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 guys, all Manchester here live, another video for Red Devil Studio. Um, and Eric Bai signs new contract. So I didn't obviously give uh, my lead reaction, I was away actually. So, but to be honest, it was a boring game anyway. So, didn't really miss much. But before we get into the news, um, if you're new to the channel, to like, share, and subscribe to Red Devil Studio, follow us on Twitch United X and smash the notification button for latest Manchester United news. Um, so, this just in, Eric Bailly signs a new contract with Manchester United. This is official, it's coming from the official Manchester United website. Um, Manchester United defender Eric Bailly has outlined his ambitions of signing a new contract or Trafford. The Africa's Limited did not have to deliberate before agreeing terms that will run until 2024 with the option of a further year. So it's three years, basically. Um, he is aiming to remain injury-free, lift the opening trophy to and sustain a push for the Premier League title in 2022. I'm very happy to the club media decision. It's something I did, didn't have to think about. I love this club. I'm not playing out. I'm happy and so on my family. Everything is good. Now the moment with my injury has passed and I'm fit and feel good and that's it. A new contract is like a new challenge and I'm ready for this. Um, off the pitch, yep. Yeah. Shows the group has confidence in me, the coach, staff and players, and this is very important. Bai, who's 27, obviously won the Europa League in 2017 and, you know, has obviously been one of our best defenders when he's been fit. Um, he says, we are in a good position with the Europa League and we are second in the league and that is very good. We hope that we can win the trophy, Europa League. It's very important for us to win and for the fans. I hope I can read it and I don't get any injuries and be strong and finish the season well. I hope to win the Europa League this season. We will have more challenges next season. Hope the Champions League for me, my dream to win the Premier League. That's my big dream. Um... And then he goes on and then Solskjaer says, I'm pleased that Eric has signed this new contract. He is still learning and improving more time under the coaches here. Eric has improved his advances in my time and he will continue to play a significant part of the squad. Um, so, thoughts. Um, I love Eric Bay. People know I love Bay, and I actually think that Solskjaer should play Bay more. I anticipate he's going to play Bay um, in the Roma game. He better anyway. Um, I don't want to see Lindelof and Maguire playing um, if you go and play one of them. So, play Bay. Um, if he's fit and he's fit, play him. Um, what I would say about this though is um at the end of the day, as much as I love Eric Bay, he is injury prone. Um, and giving him a new deal um with the sense backs that we have, where there's been no real indication of any of the sense backs going. So Lindloff is staying, Maguire is staying, as far as I'm aware. Um Phil Jones is also going to be here. All of our center backs are going to be at the club. I don't know what's happened to Rojo, to be honest, but He's not in part of the first team squad, to be honest. So basically, you've got Twan CB, you've got Bay, you've got Lindelof, Maguire, um, and Phil Jones somewhere. So that's five um, centre backs. Um, and three of those, or two and a half of those, are injury prone. Um, does this mean that Manchester United are not going to get a centre back in the summer? I don't know. I'd like to think not. Um, I don't know what Ollie's doing with Twan CB, or whether he rates him or not. I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know. And like I said, I love Bay. I when he is fit, if you know, if we if he played almost every other week or every week, um, staying fit, focused, and fighting, like he's our best centre, he's arguably one of the best centre backs in the league, no doubt. Um, but if this means that we're not looking for a centre back in the summer, especially with what we're hearing of Madrid Blacks, Varane and Ramos, um, then that's worrying because we we legitimately cannot go for another season playing Maguire and Lindelof at the back. We can't do that. We cannot play Maguire and Lindelof at the back if we're going to challenge the Premier League titles next season. We can't. We have to have a centre-back. And even if even about Henderson is good, it's, it's still not going to um, stop us conceding goals. So we need to fix that. And hopefully this new contract doesn't mean we're not going to be signing a centre-back soon. Anyway, guys, we need to try to like, share, and subscribe to Red Devil Studio. Follow us on Twitch and X. Smash the notification button for latest Manchester news. Have a nice day, guys, and cheers.